Hi, this is N9SI Art. Hopefully I can cover a little bit more detail in this video. It's a little cold out here, so it's kind of rough to breathe and keep the camera steady, but I'm going to show you a little bit about it today. Now, there's no holes penetrating the, uh, the ammo can at all. I wanted to be completely weather tight. Let's open it up. There's the opening of it. Everything's sealed up nice and tight when the lid's closed. What I usually do is uh, just position the uh, GPS unit right on the mic and it keeps it kind of level. I can plug in a microphone and a speaker, do voice. If I want to do APRS, I just, uh, or WinLink, just plug in the TNC um, antenna connection. Of course, that's the GPS right there. If I want to lay it down, I can actually take it and put it, it's magnetic, I can put it on top. Uh, let's see, antenna, speaker. This uh, switch is for the radio and also the volt uh, meter. This is a USB extension, has a small little dongle for the keyboard uh, power poles. And then the single switch here is for um, just the Raspberry and the display. Um, eventually I'm going to put an SD card extension right here. And when we open this up, I'll show you on the back side. I'm just going to dremel out a little bit put the card extension there so I don't have to pull this panel out every time that I want to um, switch from APRS to uh, WinLink. Okay, we'll give you a little peek on the inside. And I have an extra card for the WinLink. Backup card for the APRS. There's the GPS, a couple pin holders. The inside. Raspberry Pi 2 with a TNC Pi 2. Big wire mess, I need to straighten that out eventually. I've got everything coming up to a power connector. A couple of inline fuses and then down to the battery. Okay, don't make fun of my welding. There's a D-ring there. Got a little strap here holding it in. I've got another D-ring down there at the bottom. I don't have to worry about that thing floating around or if the box rolls it's not going to crush you know the radio or the Raspberry Pi. A couple little spacers in there. I'll put it. But um, that's the inside of it. Yeah, don't make fun of my welding. I was rough welding that tin. That's an ammo box, but I, I wanted to make sure that this thing was completely sealed. It's a really thin sheet of aluminum that screws right into the wood. I wanted to use a larger piece of wood because I've I had a lot of components down here at the bottom that were really close, and I wanted to make sure that that everything stayed together real well. A lot of hot glue. A lot of Dremel work. A little Velcro to keep the front panel in. Um, yeah, I wanted to show you that. That's where I've got it hot glued into the display and to the wood. Uh, this is a 3 amp unit. Um, of course it doesn't draw that much for the display and all the other uh, uh, Pi and TNC so it works really well. Okay we got her fired up. Got a speaker that's what you're hearing right now is the uh, signals coming in from the radio to the TNC. There's a little GPS I've got it stuck there. There's the TNC. It's a going. 
kitchen a few more stations. I don't know if you can see the uh, the voltage there. It is a uh, 12.5 volts. Let's uh, let's see if we can tune in some uh, other stations here. APRS is working good. Uh, the one thing with the APRS is you can always check your your local stations, what you've picked up so far. Let's see if we can focus in a little bit on that. Uh, also check uh, incoming data. Looking good. Close that. Looking good. We'll shut it down. I don't ever just turn it straight off. I always shut it down. File, exit. Come up here to the uh, menu, shut down. And we'll uh, shut it down. Let it boot down. Really like that touch screen. Side, the back, the front, you know, you'll have reasonably good uh, propagation in one direction. Oh, okay. Got the mic plugged you know, in. Much reduced propagation in another. One of the local repeaters here. Yeah, well, I'm, well, I'm driving away from... We will uh, see if we can... Uh, uh, there's ones. Do a little scan in there. There we go, we'll stop it there. Oh, I got the... Just keyed up a repeater. Yeah, I really like it. Can't wait to maybe take it on a couple of camping trips, field day. Um, anytime that there's emergency uh, happening and we need to have some APRS capability to say the phones are down, we, we you know we could use this. So I'm really excited that they uh, just started up the Aries in my county again. There we are, the whole APRS box. Weighs in at. 33, I just hit it, sorry about that, 33.75 pounds. Okay, the accessory box with all the connectors for the electrical and the antennas, SWR meter, keyboard, speaker, tools, weighs in at 9.9 .9 pounds. Okay, this has got a little bit of everything inside the accessory box. I've got uh, the antenna extension cables, uh, fused uh, power cables, little watt meter, USB. I've got, um, if I need to charge a phone up, I can, um, I can charge about anything up with that accessory there. Uh, cigarette lighter adapter. I've got a couple of battery clips on an Anderson power pole. Uh, more antenna line. Microphone if I want to go voice. I've got a little Gerber tool there in case I need it. I've got another watt meter. I'm going to use this when I'm running the box off of solar. I've got a um, roll up antenna. Here's the keyboard that I can use for the uh, for the for the box, APRS messages or WinLink messages. It's got a little touchpad. There's a little touchpad on top that you use like a mouse. Um, cigarette lighter adapter, power poles. Let's see what else we have. Uh, this this is another. Um, um, cigarette lighter adapter, uh, I want to charge a phone or run a USB device. This right here is the um, 70 centimeter antenna. Let's see, uh, I got two of these. Okay, I got another cigarette lighter adapter. Uh, a little splitter if I need to split some power in or out. I do have an antenna. Uh, just need an adapter to uh, put that right there. 
And then as for the adapters, I've got this little bag, and it's just chucked full of adapters. So if I'm out and about, I can I can hook up real quick. Here's here's my speaker. I'm putting a couple of magnets on there that I can take and plug in and listen. SWR meter. A couple of fuses. Uh, got the right size fuse for my radio and one for the Raspberry. <laughs> 